Right, we have a total of 160 learners played cricket C, rugby R or soccer S or neither and we are supposed to find X. Looking at the Venn diagram alongside, we can see that 31 learners play only cricket, 23 only soccer and 48 only rugby. To find X, we proceed as follows. First things first, uh, we need to take note of the fact that to find x, we need to use the following equation. Right, so we start as follows and say 31 plus, right, 23 plus 48 plus 10 plus 15 plus 18 plus 5 plus x equals 160. Check this carefully and realize that we have taken um, 31, added to 23, added to 48, added to 10, added to 15, added to 18, right, added to 5, added to x in the sum is 160. So what does this mean? Right, if you add all these here, 31 plus 23 plus 48 plus 10, etc., they all give 150. So what we have is 150 plus x equals 160. Upon transposition of 150, we have x equals uh, exactly 10. Right, so the conclusion then becomes that um, as a consequence, we then say, hence, right, hence 10 learners, hence 10 learners play all three. All three kinds of sport. Right, like so. Right, the next question becomes, how many learners do not play cricket, rugby, or soccer? There are those learners who do not play cricket. They don't play rugby, or they do not also play soccer. But how many are those learners? Right, clearly, those learners are exactly five of those. So we have that those are five learners. So it follows, therefore, that five learners um, actually at this point do not play cricket. They, don't, they also do not play rugby, but also they do not play soccer. So but those learners are only five. OK, the next question. Right, if x equals 10, calculate the probability that the learner selected at random will be playing soccer, right? Looking at the fact that if in the Venn diagram we allow x to be equal to 10 exactly, the question becomes, what is the probability that the learner selected at random will be playing soccer? Let's do that one. So we proceed as follows to solve this problem here. Right, so the probability. The probability that the learner is to play soccer. Right, this probability is exactly the same as what? Right, if the learner plays soccer, then we have what? We have 10 plus x is 10 plus 23 plus 18. So we've added all the numbers within the soccer event. And the summation of this is out of the total number of the learners. We know that we're dealing with a total of um, 160 learners. And so this is exactly 61 out of 160. And these is equal to zero point. 
3, 8, 1. Right, so as a conclusion, we then say the probability that a learner is to be the one, um, is, is the learner who decides to play soccer. Is the learner who decides to play soccer, that probability is uh, 0 0.381, like so. And we're done. The next question. The next question. Show that about 33% of the learners chosen at random play at least two kinds of sport. Show that about 33% of the learners chosen at random play at least two kinds of sport. Right. Let's look at this one. Two kinds of sport. So. Well, the probability of that is going to be the probability of the fact that Elena decides to play at least two kinds right um two kinds of sports and we look at that very carefully so what would that probability be so two kinds of sport or at least two kinds of sport, right? So at least two kinds of sport would mean that what we have here is the fact that we have a 10 plus another 10 plus a 15 plus 18, all divided by 160. If you add 10 plus 10, you get 20. You add 15, you get you add um 18, and the summation is 53. So the probability that the learner decides to play at least two. kinds of sport, this probability becomes exactly 53 divided by 160. And what is this? This is 0 0.331, which is approximately 33%. Like so. Right. And we'll solve this question in detail. We're done. Thanks, everybody, for your time and attention. And goodbye to you.